Smallholder farms need to take central stage in the global fight for food security and eradication of poverty. Their transition from pure subsistence to also producing for the market is key. For this, they need support. First, governments need to recognize their responsibility in the development of smallholder farms. The Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, or SDC in short, supports the formation of national farmers associations and works with the respective governments to include farmers in the national agricultural policy drafting process. The results are new trade agreements and basic rural services, such as education and health, or energy and communication infrastructure. Probably the most essential policy dimension is secure access to natural resources such as land and water. In Mozambique, for example, only 1% of all communities have their land formally registered. This leaves the door open for international venture capital to lease the land and evict the locals for mining projects or the cultivation of biofuel crops. SDC mitigates this cause of poverty by helping local communities to register their land formally with the authorities and work with the private sector and the local administration to prevent future conflicts. With assured access to natural resources, small farmers can start making future plans. Their access to investments and to markets is vital. Women in particular need support. They comprise on average 43% of the agricultural labor force in developing countries, but face marginalization in many parts of the world. SDC links smallholder farmers with the private sector. With new technologies and affordable credits, farmers become more productive. They form economic interest groups that allow them to profit from economies of scale. Larger infrastructural investments become possible, such as conservation facilities that minimize food losses. With access to new markets, farmers look to increase their production to meet the new demand. SDC provides smallholders with contemporary agricultural know-how. To increase the crop yield and preserve environmental resources, the focus is on diversified agroecosystems that are climate change resistant and resilient. Global research advances are linked to specific smallholder farming needs. Community-based checkpoints called plant clinics are established in rural areas around the world and provide practical advice and services to farmers. National seed banks are established and the cultivation of rare plant species is promoted. Just as diversified agroecosystems minimize environmental risks, diversified income opportunities minimize risks of economic setbacks. But low levels of education hamper the employment prospects in the non-farm economy. SDC activities encourage women and youth in particular to participate in rural vocational education programs, providing them with a springboard to improve their position in society. The solution to global food security and the eradication of poverty lies in the interplay of many systems and actors. Smallholder family farms play a key role in increasing global food production and reducing rural poverty. Let's give them the means to face this global challenge.